We're gonna be checking that out. <laughs> oh my god. Holy wow. <gasps> Namaste World Razors, Sabine and Roger here. Let's watch Mesmerizing. World's largest temple outside India in the US in New Jersey is opening this weekend. All we really know about this is that it's from the BAPS organization yeah. and we have been to the Akshar Dam in mm -hmm. New Delhi and also the one in London. Yes. So we've seen a couple of them and they are absolutely yes. Stunning, fantastic, beautiful, captivating. So wow. looking forward to this one. If you are too, hit that like button. Yes. Got to support these temples. Absolutely. Let us know if you go to the opening or if you plan on visiting soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, there's smokes. <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Beautiful. <laughs> Holy wow. It's thousands massive. of miles. <gasps> oh, hey, they're calling it. I wonder, do they call this them all action here? It adds to the fabric oh. of this nation. Mm -hmm. It's a proud moment oh. for many American Hindus. Oh. Majestic indeed. Holy oh, smoke. Oh, wow. So Menarayan. He has lived a very inspiring life and it was his dream that we build a monument, a Maha Mandir wow. here to showcase Holy. and spread wow. our it's Indian um, culture here. Wow. Got a whole body of goosebumps. 185 acres? Oof, it's massive. 12,500. Oh, wow. How beautiful. Yeah, hand carved. Look at all that. Wow. Holy smokes. Oh, how gorgeous. Oh, wow. A little dining hall. Yeah. Oh. October 8th. Yes. Oof. Wow, look at oh. the detail. It's incredible. I wonder if they'll have like wow. light shows and stuff like the ones in Delhi. It began in 2015. Wow, so almost... The eight years! <gasps> wow. wow. Week-long celebration. Oh, yeah, sweet. We're gonna be checking <laughs> we'll be that out. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go? <laughs> Should we can't go to India now? Yeah. Oh, I remember that story. Oh. Oh. What? Biden's administration's going to sleep. Wow. The history that is getting chiseled here is really opening up this to all visitors, welcoming them to a landmark of Hindu art and architecture, culture. So uh, beautiful. Living in America, many of my son, my daughter are born oh, hey, in this wow. country. This Mahamandir here adds to the fabric of this nation. It's a proud moment for many American Hindus to celebrate, but it also, when I bring my neighbor Joe or Thano mm. with me, was very eager to know about Indian culture, Indian art, but more specifically about Hinduism. Mm. Uh, this would be one spot that we can bring them and they will not only learn about the culture, about the art, but also the giving, uh, the bhavna of seva, devotion, mm. that over 12,500 bhaktos together came together either from three days up to three years uh, together in building this Mahamandir is going to be the story for centuries to come. Hmm. No doubt. Left their jobs. Oh, wow. wow. Amazing, I huh? am an entrepreneur and my guru and what he's done for me, this, that was the reason why I was able to drop everything and come here. He was my inspiration. He has lived a very inspiring life, and it was his dream that we build a <gasps> monument, a Mahamandir wow. here to showcase and wow. spread our Indian um, culture.
culture here and this is a part oh. of my identity of who I am as an Indo-American and it was a way to be part of something big, something that will impact generations to come. This Maha Mandir mm, is something that's going to stand here for years and million, million, million years to come. Oh. Not only <laughs> our kids, years. but our kids, 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 all the generations totally. from now will be able to see this. And we had the opportunity to make that impact for the years and thousands of generations to come. And for that, I don't think anyone ever would give that opportunity up whether they were born here or anywhere in the world. Akshadam, that's yeah, where we've been. That's the biggest one, yeah. Okay. So that's the biggest one in India to break or the its world? Own records. And yeah, I'm not sure. So is this now. one is this one gonna be bigger than the one in India? Fourteen hundred temples. Oh smokes. Wow. Just the detail and precision and love is amazing. Okay, so we just looked it up and it looks like this one in New Jersey is going to be even bigger than the one in wow. New Delhi, which is wild because the one in New Delhi was huge. We were there all day. It was amazing. Yeah. And then they had this little boat tour where you could go through like the history of India and the Vedas. Do you remember that? <sighs> My memory is so faint. Of yeah, it was amazing. It reminded me of like a Disneyland, like it's a small world. They have this ride where you go through and it was very, very similar to that. I was saying that during the boat ride and it showed through all the history of, of yeah, India and, you know, Neil Kant and all of his travels and stuff. So it was absolutely wow. amazing. And it was massive. It was huge. And then they had a huge lights show at the end. I wonder if they're going to have this here as well in the fountain. And then there was also a big theater where you could watch, like, I think about a 45 minute show. That I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, and then we had the head, the headphones that translated it in English yeah. while we were there. And it was incredible, his life story. So, uh -huh. yeah, I can see why, yeah, the organization grew to be so large. And now they got like 1,400 temples all over the world. Yeah, but this one is incredible, right? I remember the first one I seen was. Yeah, the one in London, right, was just mind blowing. The detail, the intricacies. So yeah. we sat in the, yeah, in the inner sanctum for a bit and meditated. Just yeah. marble everywhere. Gorgeous. Just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So this is something else. This wow. is on another level. I'm almost like in shock <laughs> yeah. in the best way possible. Oh, so beautiful. And what moves me every day time it's just that so many people are involved you mm. know offer their time oh yeah volunteering to make such an incredible project happen is oh it's mind-blowing it's so meaningful you know mm. they're not like chasing pleasures or whatever in life they could be doing anything mm. no they're devoting their life to building a temple oh it's amazing and not only that but just probably accepting you know anybody and then finding a good place for them and their capabilities to volunteer or yeah. could be like whatever they want to do if you want to learn how to carve then they'll probably get some training and some lessons because yeah that's that's pretty intricate types of work so then they would have would have the master craftsman you know teaching and delegating and it would take up Lo so much work, so much love. One of the most beautiful details were these, not candles, like fake candles, I assume. They're not lighting the cam candles because it was mm -hmm. also glass, but li like these little lights. Um, and, and I've seen them, they were everywhere. Oh. And then they're probably going to have that little room. So we also did that in the one in New Delhi, the oh, actual yeah. dam there, where we went and we poured the water. The, the in the UK, too, too, I did that. The little yeah. ceremony. Oh, yeah, because you went to that one. I've, I've a few been a times. few times to <laughs> yeah. the one in London, yeah. In this video, they didn't really show it, but I'm, I'm assuming as well in the inner sanctum they're going to have all the Hindu deities. Because that's yeah, how it was in right. the, the main Akshar Dam in New Delhi. That's how it was, and that's what okay. was incredible. It was like the circular inner sanctum. And then they had the little displays of all the deities. Oh, okay. And, you know, they're. Their consorts, right? So it was Radhakrishna, okay. it was 
where Ram and Ma Sita, and then mm -hmm. on and on and on it went, oh, right? Okay. And okay. then they were all together, so I'm assuming this will be the same sort of way, because in London as well, it was a square sanctum, mm -hmm. and then they had the same. Oh, they had many. Yeah, yeah at that time even, I had no idea who was who. They even had Lord Ganesh on a swing, and I yes. remember you could pull it, <laughs> and, then, and then he would swing. Yeah. So. And they had the teachers. Oh, I yeah. think behind the shrine you could walk. Mm -hmm. You could walk around and there were like, I think, the teachers portrayed or even as statues. Yeah, so the lineage gurus the of lineage, this yeah, tradition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bops. Oh, yeah. Wow. It put me into quite the state. Um, mm -hmm. I feel quite blissed out and very emotional. Yeah, that's it's incredible. It's amazing. Oh. We love it. Mm. Spread of Sunet and Dharma all over the world. Yeah. And then like the one volunteer here was saying that to invite his neighbor, right? wants mm -hmm. to learn about Sanatan Dharma, Hinduism, right? So, it's great. I love also the environment. There were like tons of trees, maybe like more like a foresty area. Mm. You know, not yeah. like in the middle of a city or something. Um, mm. Okay, not okay. sure if we make it to the US at some point, but if we do, we put it on our list to come and visit. Wow. Oh, yeah. We might have to do a different kind of pilgrimage. Just go to Hindu temples all over the other parts of the world. <laughs> Let's just do a Canada, um, US pilgrimage. Yeah, but we're going to need more <laughs> money for that. So yeah. subscribe. <laughs> Help support us. Watch our videos. <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you. Enjoy the opening, whoever will be there. Yeah, and remember, the whole reason why we are watching mm. such videos is to get the blessing of these holy places to yes. help raise ourselves and raise the beautiful world with its more with its most gorgeous temples oh, yeah thank mm. you peace, peace.